Finally, the day has arrived. Chelsea versus Arsenal. We Chelsea fans, you can see for Arsenal fans, we always wait for this game. And today's game has a lot of significance for different reasons for both the teams, especially Arsenal. But for us as well, it could change our whole campaign, whole season and our mentality. While for Arsenal, if we beat them, we can end their title race. That'll be a good pleasure overall. And overall, we can send a massive message. If they beat us, like for us, it's still top for battle, but we'll be disappointed. And six year we will become seven. And for Arsenal, they can go on compete for the title and get their confidence booster again from us. So again, this is an important game. Let's get quickly to match preview. First of all, going to opposition Arsenal, they haven't been good this season. They are still a very quality side. Gabriel, Saliba, they have already got back for this game. Ben White is going to play Timber. The defense will be solid. I think Partey will play in the holding role. Rice is going to play more like a box to box role. I don't think Marino is going to play in this game. Saka, Trossard on his natural position left will be a better option for me than Martinelli. And the striker will be Harvest, will try to get in the faces of a centre back and run behind them. So, on paper, this is a solid side. But right now, attackers are lacking confidence. Bar Saka. Defensively, when attackers are not doing the job, you always become the sloppy. So right now they're not in a good form. They've lost to Newcastle, Bournemouth, drawn to Liverpool at home. They're right now Manchester are winning against Brighton and Liverpool. If they beat Aston Villa, they could be 10 points behind them, uh, Liverpool, and 8 points behind City. And if they don't win this game, most probably 90% of the title race is over. Arsenal fans is going to become negative. It's going to creep in the fa players, and that is not good really going into international break. So for them, it's about being in the race and bringing the pride back. Because if you ask Arsenal fans before the start of the season, by this international break will be behind Chelsea, you, they will laugh at their faces. So Arsenal have a lot to work upon. Now quickly going on to Chelsea, and I think they are still having a fantastic season. We lose this game, they still don't have that type of pressure. Why? Because our end goal is to be back in the Champions League. We still have a lot to develop, so nothing in that sort. But because we haven't done well against big teams, Liverpool, you go to City, and like if we even like match tonight, we're awful performance, and if we don't play well in this Arsenal game, then you know the rivals, the media, then they start getting into Enzo Mariska. And see, the Premier League right now is so tight. We are right now, Fulham are equal to us right now. Brentford are two points behind us. Boone with the three points behind us. If Tottenham tomorrow wins and uh, you've got Brighton, if they pull something out against Manchester right now, we could easily be eighth or ninth in the league going uh, into Monday. So I think that is something you also don't like. We still can finish top four, but being ninth before the international break can again cause negativity. And you like it or not, it can very quickly from being a great campaign turn into a negative one for Chelsea fans. Arsenal is not a match where you have to have that sort of pressure. But if you lose to Arsenal, we need to beat Leicester City. And you know after international break straight away, King Power Stadium is not an easy place to go. So it's an important game for us as well, for the manager to show what is capable of the big games. And that takes me to tactics in the lineup. I think the lineups are going to be Chelsea. I think in this match, people might be surprised, but I think we are going to go with a 4 3 3 shape. I think it could be Caicedo, Lavia, Enzo, all three playing. Palmer playing on the right if he's fit for this game, or a Neto. Meduke won't start. It's going to be uh, on the left side, I think it's going to be Neto. And the striker is going to be Nicholas Jackson because Neto does a lot of good defensive work in comparison to Mudrick. Palmer could be on the right or a Meduke. And the striker Jackson. And why do we play midfield three? Is I think he will like to overpower Odegaard, Rice, and Pate. And because Enzo in the midweek got assists as well, and creatively, since Enzo has been out, we have struggled creatively. So Caicedo Lave will protect Enzo's defensive weakness, and Enzo will provide the creativity and the control in the midfield that we need in this game. Because if we have to get something against Arsenal, we need to have the ball control in this game. We cannot just give them the ball and anticipate something. We aren't a, we aren't a defensive side under the manager. We are not a side that's going to give you the ball and counter. So I think we need to have a bit of control in the middle if you have to get something against Arsenal. Defensively, Fofana, Colwell, James, and it's going to be a Cucurella, so nothing else. So I think that could be some change the manager might try to do. So we have more midfield bodies. And once you will have uh, more like Cucurella inverting into the midfield as well, we'll have a lot of bodies into the midfield. And what can really happen is Casado will go more higher up the field. Lavia and Enzo will be more deeper. So this is something you might see uh, tomorrow. For me, it could happen is Enzo Fernandez is much more higher up the field. Sorry, Caicedo is much more higher up the field. Enzo is deeper with Lavia and Cucurella is forming a three-man midfield with Lavia and Enzo when they're in possession. Enzo is going more forward and forming like two number 10s with Palmer and uh, Enzo Fernandez and then Neto and Jackson are making the running behind to get the opportunity. Well, for Arsenal, I think it's going to be what they, their best lineup is. White on the right, Timber on the left, centre-back Gabriel Saliba and then Partey in the holding role which he really likes. Rice going a bit more forward like he used to do last season in the Xhaka role and then you will have Saka on the right, Trossard in natural position. What Trossard really does is I think provide more control to Martinelli while Martinelli can run at his players and free up the space for the play in the middle. I think Martinelli is better for Arsenal to go on tired legs. Trossard is also killer from the bench but I think Trossard might be a better player to start 
because from his natural position, he might just be better in front of goal. And the striker Harvest, Harvest's biggest strategy is always to make the run in behind. So I think again, call well for Fanning to be very careful. So I think looking at all of this and managing, both managers will try to cancel each of the tactics out. Both teams are a bit of creatively out of form. Both teams have pressure to not lose. I think this might not be a really great game to watch. And I'm going with a 1-1. So do you agree with my prediction? Let me know in the comments and let me know your prediction and like and subscribe.